this video, I want to quickly show you how you can make your PowerShell more beautiful. With that said, let's get started. You're looking at Visual Studio Code at the moment. And in Visual Studio Code, I've got a terminal with the PowerShell open. And that's the usual PowerShell. And what I want to help you to do is to make your PowerShell look like this. This is done with all my posh and posh kit, which I'll show you how to install now. So let's switch to your PowerShell. Let's enter install minus module or my posh, sorry, or my posh with the scope of current user. Now it'll ask us if we trust um, PS Gallery. In this case, yes to all, we trust PS Gallery. And for me, it's failing because I've already got it installed. Next up, you'll install install module posh git with once again, the scope of current user. We've got both modules installed, but if you are taking a look at your PowerShell, so you always need to open a new one, it'll still look the same. So we need to change the profile of your PowerShell. For that, enter code to open it in Visual Studio Code and dollar profile. It'll take you to the profile um, settings or the profile file of the PowerShell. Now hit enter and it'll open the PowerShell profile in your um, Visual Studio Code. You could also navigate to users, your user document, PowerShell, PowerShell profile, PS1, if that file is already existing. If not, you would need to create it. All right, and now we need to do three things. We first need to import the modules we just installed. So install, uh, import module or my posh, import module, posh git, and now we can set a theme. So let's use set posh prompt. And let's just use minus theme slim. Save that one. And now if you open new PowerShell, it should already look different. All right, there we've got our more beautiful PowerShell. But for you, it might not look that way. Why is that? Well, you need to have a font that's allowing you to have, or that's including these special characters. So if you're taking a look at my settings, and I haven't restarted it, so it's still taking it, there is a setting to set the terminal, terminal integrated font family, which in my co case is Fiora code NF for node, node font. Now node font, let me just switch my browser window. Um, node font is, no, it didn't switch. No, oh, come on. I'm oh, sorry, just need to enter the full screen. Do it that way. All right. So note font is um, basically a collection of fonts that include a lot of different symbols. So in this kind, uh, in this case, for example, the power line symbols, which are used in um, all my posh. And to download one, just click on fonts download. Now in my case, I used Fiora code. So you'll see Fiora code down here. Um, you can download it. So let me just download it. You can open the zip file. It'll open probably in another tab. Yep. Let me get it over here. You've got a zip file, and now you need to look for a mono font. So look for mono and just use one of them. So in this case, for example, the Fura code, oh, now it's a bold font, but whatever. Just take it and click on install or installieren in German. Now you need to remember the um, font name because this Fiora code node font mono, that's the one you need to enter in Visual Studio Code in here. Um, I took a font that's just called Fiora code NF, so I've entered that one. If it doesn't um, look like this in the first turn, just restart Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Code should pick up your new font. All right, and now with regards to the themes, um, you can take a look at the themes usually on the oh my posh page which i'll link down below but somehow they removed it in the last month it seems so you can always go to the github and in here you're seeing the different themes so you would need to pick one and just take a look at it um, in visual studio code itself uh, so just change your profile and pick one i thought slim is looking quite nice 
but there are more um, simple or leaner themes. So yeah, just try them out and you'll find one that will fit you. All right. And with that being said, that was just a very quick way to optimize or beautify your PowerShell. And uh, I hope you learned something. And yeah, let's see, <laughs> let's see each other again. Bye.